I'm getting emotional thinking about it. It's like, I was hating on myself so much at that time. Subject her to catchy pop music. This song's gonna get stuck inside my head. This song's gonna get stuck inside your This song's gonna get stuck inside my head. Tell me about playing General Mayhem. What's your favorite thing about playing her? Because she's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. It's been, it's been very, very satisfying. You know, because I think a lot of animated movies in the past have sort of relied on these kind of archaic tropes about what uh, the female characters in those movies can be and who they are. Lego Movie kind of sort of usurped that idea from the beginning with the first film. And this film is really a continuation of exploring the different kinds of heroes and villains that you can have in a movie and um, this one is really something I've never seen before so I was really thrilled to do the voice for it. Bring me your fiercest leader. How did you do the voice for her? Because it, it was like, I, I felt like it was, you know, kind of modulated. It was me. Yeah, there we go. But <laughs> there is a tiny bit of modulation on it just to make it sound like I'm inside a helmet, but I did most of it. Oh, like that. awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Going back in time, the first movie you did, a little indie called Short Term 12. Yes. How cool is it that you and Brie Larson are both in space, wearing helmets, being <laughs> awesome female warriors? It's amazing. I mean, I'm so happy for Everyone that worked on that film, that was a really special experience. Justin kind of put together this incredible cast and I felt so lucky to be there and watching Bree's career take off, watching Rami's career take off, watching Keith's career take off. Like, it's been incredible. Like, all of them are just doing such incredible, amazing, wonderful work in this world. I'm like, I'm so happy to have had that experience with them. I gotta talk about your high school throwback photo. <laughs> Amazing. How old were you in that photo? I was 18. That oh was my, my senior photo. I, I begged my parents because everyone in my high school like got these like fancy senior photos and I begged my mom and dad to get me them and my mom was like, all right, if you really want them, we'll save up and we'll get them for you. And I remember like choosing my, I had my Batman earrings on. I like, just got my fresh haircut from Supercuts. Like, yeah, I was really living my best life in that photo. That's the thing. Back then, everybody got glamour shots done. Yeah. And yeah. your friends would get them and you'd be like, now I want that. Now I want one. And you know, like, really looking at that photo, I'm like, Stephanie, you were so in your head about, like, how you didn't live up. Like, you weren't thin enough. You weren't pretty enough. Your skin wasn't clear enough. You, you know, X, Y, and Z. Like, I was, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. It's like, I was hating on myself so much at that time. And I think a lot of teenagers were in that position. And now I look at that photo, I'm like, Look at look at how beautiful you are. Like you were you were just fine. You were doing your best, you know? And like it makes me really proud to like think about how far I've come from like being in that place of like really doubting myself and now I'm like, You were doing great, girl! Yeah. You were doing great.